Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up your school email account through an exchange account. The reason for doing this is if you use a Gmail to set up your account, none of your contacts will be imported and it's difficult to email parents or other teachers when you have to type in their entire um, their entire email address. So this isn't something that you have to do, but it's something that can make your life a little bit easier. So using your iPad or your iPhone, if you want to have one and you want your email on your iPhone, um, what you're going to do is start out at the home screen and you're going to click the tab that says settings. The next thing you're going to do is be brought to a screen. On this screen, you're going to click where it says mail, contacts, and calendars. After that, you're going to click add new account. Okay, so you're going to be brought to the screen that gives you a lot of different options for the type of email you're using. Um, you're going to click Microsoft Exchange. Okay, so in this screen we have a number of different fields we have to fill in. We're going to start out by filling in our school email address. Next, we're going to choose the server we're going to use. So in this spot, you're going to fill in m.google.com. And in the domain option, you're going to leave this blank. The next thing is username and password. And for this, you're going to fill in your school email again and your school email password. Lastly, in the description field, you're going to name your email. You can leave it default, which will say exchange, or you can name it freehold email or school email, something like that. Something that's going to differentiate it between, you, uh, between email, other email accounts that you have on your iPad or iPhone. Okay. Lastly, what you're going to do is you're going to leave your settings to the um, all these settings to the on position. This is syncing all your mail, your contacts, and your calendars. If you don't want your calendars to sync, you can turn that off. Um, but I leave all mine to on. Okay, lastly, what you're going to do is go back out to your home screen. You're going to click on the mail option, and you'll see that all of your mail is imported here. So you can see I have two email address, two emails set up here, my, my personal Gmail and my freehold email. Um, and this is how you check your email, um, how you can send emails from the iPad or the iPhone. Just makes it a lot easier because all of your contacts are there. So when you go to type in the email, um, if you want to type in, you know, if someone wants to email me, all you would have to do is type in C L A and Cela Sal would come up. So it just makes it a lot easier. Okay. Um, you know, feel free to stop and start this e this video as many times as you like to try this out at home. And of course, I'm here to help if you'd like me to help you out with this. Bye bye.